of yesterday's attack is Eliana Andam. Um, and in a moment, I will talk to our political correspondent, Gurpreet Nalwan, who was with me in the studio. But first, to Shaman Freeman Powell, who joins us live from Croydon in South London. Uh, and Shaman, we, ha we have an image and a name of this young girl who died yesterday. Uh, what more can you tell us from down there at the scene? Well, as you can see behind me, there is still a very large cordon in place blocking off one of the roads, uh, well, one of the sides of this road, Wellesley Road, which is a very busy area in the centre of Croydon. And it's where, sadly, 15-year-old Eliana lost her life yesterday morning. During rush hour, in broad daylight, she was stabbed to death. Now, the police have confirmed that a 17-year-old uh, has been arrested in connection with this incident. They say that they are no longer looking for any other suspects. They haven't yet named the 17-year-old, but just moments ago it was confirmed to Sky News that they have uh, been given an extra 24 hours to interview him, which means they have now until tomorrow morning. But as you say, this is a community here that really is devastated by the tragic loss of Eliana's life. There are dozens of flowers that have been left behind, tributes paid to her, describing her as a very funny 15-year-old someone that had a great sense of humour and who also had a whole life ahead of her. She was 15 years old and studying for her GCSEs and was believed to be on the bus behind me trying to get to her school when this incident happened. Now, police are now calling for anyone that may have any video footage or any information that could be useful to come forward. They've also said that they are supporting their family at this devastating time as well. And just to mention, here in the community, I've been been here all morning. Uh, to my left-hand side, there is a sign uh, which says stop youth killings. And throughout the course of this morning, many members of the public have stopped there, not only to take pictures of this sign, which I imagine they want to share, but also to have conversations about what this now means, not only for London, but for the entire country, as sadly knife crime is an issue that needs to be tackled.